the Roger Rabbit bullets have got their final coat of gloss clear coat, and I think they look pretty good. I just need to uh, remove the pore uh, plastic that's on the bottom, and we'll consider these done. cutouts for the barrel and for the pistol as well as the contour of the overall box should keep the silicone uh, in, in well locked in but just to be doubly safe I'm going to put in some registration marks so that when I uh, insert and remove the mold it seats properly every time. Now that the mold box for the tune pistol is complete, I need to make a couple of other uh, mold boxes for some simpler pieces. The only reason I did such an elaborate mold box for the tune gun is, as I said, I wanted to reinforce the silicone, not use as much as I would need. It's also a two-part mold, so it's more sophisticated. If you haven't done this before and you just need a one-time use, something that's small, uh, I tend to use form core. It works really well. So I have uh, three of those that I need to put together, and then we'll start pouring some rubber. Hi, welcome to my mad scientist lab, also known as the basement. We have an unfinished basement and so I do all my woodworking in the garage, but when it comes to mixing chemicals, doing airbrushing, etc., I do most of it down here. Um, so all the mold boxes are ready and we're going to start mixing up some silicone and putting it in. I do have a vacuum chamber, but unfortunately it's not working right now. So for those who aren't familiar, what we'll basically do is pour from height which should get all of the bubbles out and uh, make sure we have a good strong mold with a uh, minimum amount of uh, corruption in it so we don't have any flaws in our castings.
pouring the molds took about an hour uh, from 10 to 11 o'clock last night so everything's set up overnight and is looking pretty good the large flat pieces i'm going to put uh, resin backings on so that they sit flat when the molds are poured and i don't have to worry about any warping being introduced during a pour the hammer for the tuned pistol i think while i'm pouring resin i'll actually pour a test piece and see how that comes out and then I need to put registration keys into the tune mold box so that we can pour the second half. It's about an hour later, so um, the resin is, uh, once the two parts are mixed together, is a thermolytic chemical reaction that causes it to harden, and that generates heat. So you can usually tell when everything's ready just by putting your hand on it. If you feel it feels cool to the touch, you know you're golden.
Again, it's too late at night, but uh, the day's been pretty productive. I got several pulls of the uh, Batarangs done, painted, and weathered, so they're drying. I'll show those to you later. And um, the first half of the tune box mold box is done, so I'm going to cut registration keys in and then coat the existing half with Vaseline, which will keep the second half from sticking to it, and then doing a pour and letting it cure overnight, and hopefully tomorrow be able to do a first pull on the gun. For those who don't do a lot of uh, molding and casting, uh, it's very dirty. And you drip everywhere uh, when you demold pieces of, of plastic, to just the, the drips and went over, whatever, shoot all over the place so it's in the carpets. I work in our basement and we, when we bought the house, the prior owners left us carpet remnants. So I've got this hideous orange shag that I've of course destroyed, but it keeps it off the cement. My work surface, I cover with plastic and so when I get drips there most of it is hits the plastic and can be peeled off. When the plastic gets ruined I just pull it off, take a paint scraper, get any resin or silicone that has dripped onto the wood and get that off and then recover it with plastic so I get back to a clean surface. The only real challenge is I'd rather be making stuff than cleaning up. The sawdust and all that that you do in the in the work area you can clean as you go but this is the stuff that just accumulates and eventually when I start tracking it through the house my wife gives me a look and I say alright I better clean up again. More uh, the second half of the mold gun got poured last night I ran into some problems the original holes that I had drilled that I was going to pour the silicone into were too small and they would get clogged and I couldn't get a fast pour so the silicone actually started to cure or thicken uh, before I was finished so I stopped I had some other pieces that needed to be molded, so I was able to salvage that, and then um, pulled the mold box apart, uh, cut a bigger opening. Fortunately, the silicone that went in was, was fine, no problems. 
no leaks around the mold box, and it's ready to be demolded. It's been about an hour since I poured the tune gun mold, so we're going to do a demold and see if all this work has paid off. That looks pretty good. I don't think I could have asked for better. That worked out very nicely. So the first pull of the two gun, tune gun, I'm very pleased with, but it does have some imperfections perfections. There's uh, some bubbles that uh, could be better. And then uh, when I pulled the original master out, some of the places where the bullet holes in the revolver, uh, the, the silicone snapped off. So I don't get clean holes there. So I'm going to drill some new ones. So I'll do some cleanup and then put primer on this and get it painted up.